What's up, folks? I'm your host, Mr. Loco, and you are tuned into another episode of Air Gunner Life. Today, we are going to be checking out a gun that I've previously gone over once, um, way back before I even had a camera stand or I was doing this show that I call Air Gunner Life. It is none other than the Umarex Legends Pistol P08 Parabellum. Gets a claim velocity of 410 feet per second. It's made out of full metal. Shoots steel BBs. Charged with the 12 gram CO2 cartridge. Has a dropout stick magazine that holds 21 rounds. And this version here is non-blowback. This is the first version that Umarex came out with. The second version they came out with has a little bit less velocity, but it has a functioning slide and um, it's blowback. So how about we open up the box, check it out inside. Alright, there's the gun. And here you can actually read about what it says. And it says the history of it. Let me bring it out my way so I can read it for the camera. It says, this famous German semi-automatic pistol was designed in 1899 by George Luger, 1849 to 1923. He was an engineer at Ludwig Lowe & Company in Berlin. The correct full name is Parabellum Pistol Borchart Luger System. The unusual principle of this pistol is a toggle joint breech lock, which was based on a design by Hugo Borchart. The principle was used for the first time in a pistol bearing Borchart's name. The designation 08 refers to the year in which this pistol was adopted by the German army. Parabellum is the name for the 9mm 9x19 cartridge, new at the time and first used in this weapon. The word comes from the Latin civis possum parabellum. If you seek peace, prepare for war. The 08 was used by German army along with the newly introduced Walther P38 up to the end of World War II. Here's the gun. Let's check it out. So, as I mentioned, this is a non-blowback one, so it is just a solid cast. Nothing works up here. You know, nothing moves. It does, however, have the traditional P08 safety, the Luger safety right here. And it's even written in German on it. It's a really nice replica. You know, you have your caliber and your serial number all your markings and stuff and there's your little warning text and on the original one I think you'd be taking out the mag down like by pushing something down here like that but on this one you push right here there you have a mag release there it goes and here you have the stick mag in which you load the babies the, the CO2 cartridge goes right here in the grip. You put a little pellet gun oil on it and put it in right there. So how about we load it up and check it out how that goes. Alright so I got everything needed to load this gun up. We got the CO2 here, we got the pellet gun oil, and we're gonna be using the Black Diamond Hornady Bees distributed by Umarex. And uh, we're gonna try the speed loader out also. All right. So first, let me open that part. Put a little bit of pelican oil on the CO2 cartridge. Just a tiny drop like that. Put that in there like that. All right. So before I screw this in, I'm gonna say this. I've had this gun since 2013. After I was on the TV show American Air Gunner. Um, it's done really well, although I gotta say it has kind of a heavy trigger, which is uncomfortable at times, but it, after you shoot it a lot, it breaks in better, and the trigger does get better, and I put some pelican oil in the trigger and dry fired a whole bunch as well, which helped. Um, also, I used to shoot this gun a whole lot, so it developed a leak, but the last time I shot it, or the last two times I shot it actually. Um, it has not leaked at all. So how about we check it out now and see if the leak is still there or not. 
And if it's not, well, that's great. So let's check this out. We're gonna screw this in. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit of leak, but you can't even hear it on there. Yeah, no, no, now it's stopped. So there's, there's no leak, no real leak anymore. Uh, okay. And I think one of the reasons it started leaking was because I switched out different kind of CO2 canisters on this. And at the time I didn't know, but each brand CO2 is a little bit differently shaped on the top part. So it imprints itself in the, in the seals. And if you, if you keep switching them out, your seals are going to get, yeah, they're going to get a little different. And anyway, when you don't shoot it for a while, they, they get back to normal. Anyway. So, let's get the BBs here. Oh yeah, I'm not going to use my hand to load it. I'm just going to use a speed loader. So, let's pour those in here. Yeah, that's probably enough. Alright. Pull, pull this follower down there. And put that there. How many do I got in there so far? Oh, it's almost full. Okay. One more. There we go. Fully loaded. So we got 21 BBs in here. Slap it in like that. And we are ready to rock and roll. How about we take this outside, see how it performs on target. All right, so we got the Umer X Legends Parabellum Pistol P08. And uh, we are standing about 25 feet away. Let's see how she does on target. So it's pretty accurate as you can see. It's a nice little pistol. It's just like my only complaint on it is the trigger is a little bit too heavy. But accuracy wise, I mean, look, I mean, it's very, very concentrated in this area. Then you have a couple flyers here, you know, there. But everything is very, very concentrated. All right, people, so there you have it the Umarex Legends Parabellum Pistol P08 Luger Replica by Umarex USA non-blowback version. My final thoughts on this gun is it's a very beautiful gun. Solid build. The only plastic are the grips. Everything else is very nice about this gun. It's, it's very accurate as you saw on target. I mean that was probably the most accurate smoothbore BB gun I shot on camera that you could see. Um, all, you know, all the shots were real concentrated. But I do have some complaints about this gun. And, it is the trigger. That's my main complaint about this gun. The trigger is... I mean, look at this. I'm going to take it off safety. There's there's no CO2 inside right now. So, but look at look look at this. I don't have something to, to weigh the trigger, but just look at my finger. Ugh. You see that? The force needed to pull this trigger. It's uncomfortable. I just shot 100 rounds outside. And, um... Yeah, off camera. And, uh, you know, after 100, I just emptied the CO2. There was probably another mag, maybe two mags left worth of CO2 that came out. But it was just uncomfortable. So this gun doesn't come out that often. But I'm glad I own it. It's definitely a nice collector's gun, you know. And on top of this, um, I own a real historic firearm that's been in my family for generations. And it looks similar to this. And that's one of the reasons I wanted this one. And that right there is this gun right here I'm going to show you. The Colt Woodsman. See? Very similar guns. Except this one shoots 22 LR. Right here. 
and the mag, you push it out like that. There you go. Other than that, this gun is, is actually very similar to this one. And that's one of the reasons I got this. But, um, yeah, my final thoughts is it's nice as a collector's gun. It's not my everyday shooter, but it's I'm happy to own it. If you're looking for a, a nice gun to put into your collection, to add to your collection, this is definitely a nice gun to add if you're a collector. If you're not a collector and you're just a casual BB gun shooter and stuff like that, yeah, it could be great for you too, depending on how you feel about the trigger. Me personally, I'll go for some other guns before I go shoot that one, just because the fact that the trigger is very, very heavy. But other than that, it's 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 a nice gun. I recommend it for collectors mainly. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm your host, Mr. Loco, and you have been watching Air Gunner Life. Till next time, folks.